so guys, me and Randy here, and... 3018? Oh. Randy? a super bad snowstorm and we have to like shut everything freaking down it's insane uh ooh, one second so i have to go back to like respell it you just told you just spelled it and the date of birth is <laughs> um so pretty much yeah there's like a super bad snowstorm and they both came over we were like shut everything down and they're like shut everything down if you're on a call shut it down it is the so <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. This is serious. This is serious. <laughs> but I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. So bless up. Thank you, God. Do you have your policy number handy? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. Um, I'm free indeed. I'm free indeed. Could you tell me, please? Put on my gloves now. Getting ready to go now. I'll see y'all next week. Eighteen forty West Thirty Fifth Place. Gotta tell me twice. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. This is on your homeowner's policy, correct? We out. So, seeing as, um, yeah, it's, it's, we back at work, so I'm back to being bummy. Don't care. Anyway, so seeing as, you know what I'm saying, we got off work a day early and whatnot, I'm currently at the crib. I bought myself some food. Luckily, Subway was still open. We about to... Okay? And chill out. It's my day. God, he knows me. He does. Also, so yeah, I was just talking to my roommate. And she was like, yeah, they said that um, if you go outside tomorrow at all, don't breathe through your mouth. Like, because you can get internal freaking frostbite. Like, what? Michigan is wild. It's too much. It's too much. But yeah, I'm just grateful. I'm gonna go outside. You, you ain't gotta tell me twice. I ain't gotta go to work. So, yeah. Look at this. Madness. Do you see it all? My car around the corner, girl. So, I just know that I do not. So, I got my backpack. I'll be doing a lot of heavy studying today. Because I know when they said that you off. So, I went straight to sleep last night. So, I'm going to park it right here on my other couch next to the router so I can get that good Wi Fi and get her done. Well, Keep the roomies, man. They're heading out there. Soldiers in the army of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't completely die. Keeping things alive. Snowpocalypse 2019. Oh, Jeanette's free. Is she free? <laughs> she moved back a foot. Oh, oh man. Man, blessings on that stranger. Yeah, for real, bro. Yeah, you're risking your life. He drove up course. earlier and like parked next to her and talked to her, but then he left and came back and couldn't help me. That's crazy. Now she's next. Let me get you. Oh, it's hard to breathe. No, I haven't got all my bundles on yet. Are you going to start your car too? Uh huh. Cause I gotta Ooh. go to work. School is already canceled for tomorrow. I anticipate Friday as well. Y'all be safe, man. If I see anybody kill over, I got y'all. Here they go.
and they go their separate ways. So hopefully they make it. everybody good afternoon good afternoon everybody um so today's vlog is about um it's a little sweet surprise uh, i'm currently in the snowy but less snowy state of ohio cold but way warmer than michigan state of ohio i mean i don't even really need to wear this coat honestly at this point but anyways i digress um so i'm here with the fam bam madukes Say what's good. Bro, bro. <clears throat> gang, gang, you hear? You feel me? Squad up. So, it was my sister's birthday on Wednesday, and she was talking to me all week about how she wishes, wishes me and my sister from California could be here and everything, and I already decided before the fact that I was going to surprise her and everything like that. She's stupid for not even thinking that I was going to do that. But, that's on her. We got one and a half miles. We're going to get off on 675 North. Um, anywho, so here I am. You feel me? Riding in the whip with the family on my way to surprise my dearest big sister. And um, yeah, so we got her flowers. Purple, because that's me and her favorite color. I like lavender. She likes some more royal. Anyway, I digress on that. Um, 
Yeah, so we're on our way. My mommy got her. What'd you get her? Popcorn? Gourmet sweetheart popcorn. Gourmet sweetheart popcorn because we're bougie. We don't get your regular Orville. We get the gourmet. Period. So, yeah, so now we're just on our way to um, knock on our door, I guess, and I'll catch back up with you when we pull up. Just Jace, yes, just dumb. She loves lavender or purple. That's Girl, her color. Do that. And she's trying to get you these white carnations. With these little hey. Like I'm about to go to uh, <laughs> freaking uh, a freaking uh with That's crazy. I really I don't even know what to say. I really thought that you was in Michigan. You drove down here in that snow. <laughs> you were yeah, I don't ever say I don't care. When about you, you get here? Last night at like I left work early. I left work at like four. Didn't I talk to you yesterday? Yeah, pretty much. So weird. <laughs> 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 I can't believe we heard. I ain't even expected. Yeah, we having a kickback for the show tonight. You coming, Drew? Well, who you having over? I don't know. Is you coming or not? Yeah. I'm gonna put my CV out here so Alice can bring his game. Y'all could be Lily. Are oh, you want to come? Cause he got the game, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Look at Jarrell. What's wrong with you? Uh, we're hungry, bro. Uh, yeah, we hungry. Um, you gonna have to go get Jarrell. Where we going? Y'all wanna go cheesecake factory? Girl, uh, me got money uh, like that. Yo, we got money like that. <laughs> uh, so y'all trying to go to McDonald's? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not Am I even looking around the camera while you got a freaking on me? Yeah. No, I'm not. Come through weed. They would've never known. Starts by, starts by who? Oh, yes. So y'all can follow me. <laughs> it's Chili's up the street. Friday's up the street. All of that song. Uh, Friday's Chili. Olive Garden. Ooh, pasta. <laughs> they got the end. They got the never ending for twelve ninety nine. That's it. Um, that's what I can get me a black tuxedo cheesecake. Come on, black tuxedo. That's all good. That's all good. Yeah. All right. Keep back my house. Bring y'all guys. Be lit. You funny. <laughs> Period, sis. Show them up, sis. Let them know what's up. Period. Period. Let me put some clothes on. Surprise was a success. So, <laughs> that's really it. Now we're going to go eat. See you later.
cows write their secrets? Huh? Where do cows write their secrets? Where do cows write their secrets? Yeah. In their diary. In their diary. Diary. What is it? Y'all suck. What is it? What is it? In their diary. In their diary, yeah, we got it. <laughs> we got it. What the heck? All right. This is a bad seaweed joke. Sorry, I just couldn't kelp myself. Ha! I got the bazooka one. Y'all ready? It ain't even no, <laughs> ain't even no joke. It's two truths and one lie. Which fact is not true? Can you turn off the radio, please? All right. Jesus. Which fact is not true? The smallest hummingbird species weighs more than a penny. There are over 58 million dogs in the U.S. And the crocodile cannot stick his tongue out. Uh, wait, what? What? What's a lie? Uh, spit just came out your mouth. <laughs> I heard trying to go down. Yeah, trying to slid down. Slid. You done got the avalanche cow. <laughs> That's so sad. You slid. You done got the avalanche cow. Uh -uh. <laughs> the what? Avalanche. Trying to slid in this half an inch of snow. I, What's the answer? <laughs> The penny is heavier. Than what? Mm -hmm. The smallest hummingbird species weighs more than a penny. <laughs> right, right. Hey, it's your Ordinary Jay. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, yeah, as you saw, had a lot of fun last weekend with my family and stuff. I thought I would go home and surprise my sister. I just thought I'd let y'all in on a little bit of uh, who I am and who my family is. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, so I got some cool stuff to talk about today. And I'm gonna try to keep this concise because y'all already don't watch 16 minutes of my video. So I'm gonna just try to hurry up and get this done. But bear with me, okay? So yes, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this portal vortex. Like, what? Like, how even? Sorry, eating dinner. What? Like, negative some odd degrees, like 60, 50 degrees? What even? What? I don't even understand. Then, if you saw, there was a heat warning that said, um, what did it say? Um, there was a heat warning that said, Turn your thermometers or thermostats down to 65 or below. Just out of nowhere. And it was already, already had three pairs of pants on. Already had three shirts on, three pairs of socks on, and two blankets. Like, what? Like, I don't understand. So I just had to book it out of here. Had to go home. Couldn't do it. Yes, so I had to go ahead and plan the great escape to Ohio. I was planning on doing that anyways, but I'm like, this is the greatest time. This is literally the greatest time to do it because ain't nobody about to stay here and freeze to death. Not me. Not built for this. So I went on to a little bit warmer of a, of a state, Ohio, to visit sis. Um, Y'all got to meet her. Isn't she great? Isn't she just such a queen? Like, I literally love her so much. Like dearest big sister so yeah and yeah I just love my family I always surprise my family um because I love surprises and I like literally watch them on YouTube all the time like mom coming to surprise daughter after at college son coming to surprise mom after being away at college and yes my nails still ain't done but I'm going to get them done tomorrow so I don't even worry about that but anyways um yeah but i love surprises and i think of that i just kind of like low-key always wanted that to happen to me like somebody i love just come and surprise me but that's never happened well it happened once but my friend ruined it you know who you are but anyways <laughs> no um but yeah i love surprises and i've just like that's just the thing that i love to do i do it to my mom every time i go home so i don't know how she hasn't caught on but whatever so i mean it was fun I got to go home, I visited my uh, campus, um, OCU, shout out to you, all my friends, Kenzie, Kirsten, who else I see? Clarissa, who else I see? Bonte, who else I see? Joya, duh, what? Uh, Dr. Lab, saw him, shout out to him. But anyways, I digress. Yeah, it was fun. I did uh, end up getting my car towed while I was there, and that was cool, and people were really mean to me. Um, cause my sister lives on a college area campus or whatever and there's visitor parking that's not labeled. So 
that was annoying but I had fun so whatever yes I got to have a movie night with my mommy um shouts out to Pam uh, <laughs> uh um yeah we watched the greatest showman that was super cool fell asleep halfway through both of us knocked out clean but it was fun while I lasted sang a couple songs she ain't really want me to but I did it anyways because I mean how can you not it's the greatest showman so to bring it all back to you know the purpose of my vlog um as a whole as the weekend was you know coming to an end and stuff like that and how in five days low-key without studying at the what, it was Thursday, I left on Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday yeah so almost five days without studying I started getting like really really nervous and like I don't know like oh my gosh it was just crazy how my nerves were just unfolding and I was saying itty bitty prayers here and there like Lord just calm me down Lord just give me peace but yeah um <clears throat> my nerves were just like rising and so I was talking to this lady that I always talk to at church um shout out to Mother Whip um and <laughs> and she was um I was just asking her I'm like man like I don't know like I'm super nervous about this I don't know like I just hope everything goes well I'm just scared blah, blah 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 and she looked at me like she ain't get work worked up nothing like that she just looked at me and was like you were scared about undergrad and you did that you were scared about that volleyball team you wanted to be on and you did that you were scared about being an RA and you did that and I was like stop speaking truth right now because stop and she, so basically she was telling me like shut up and do it sit down and do it and get it done and I was like okay say less so um that plus the car talk that I had with my sister I was on the way back to Grand Rapids Monday morning and uh my sister um called me and we just started chatting or whatever so I could stay awake and we just got to talking about like just both of our futures and like the confidence um that we have in ourselves to you know fulfill those purposes and like how we just need to get motivated and all this other stuff and how like fear and all the boom what we're scared of what's you know hindering us boom 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 and we just started like speaking life into each other and like motivating each other just with our word and just reminding each other that like this does not depend on us but like the promise that god has for us <laughs> mm, felt that um <laughs> that like he's never failed so why would he fail now you know what i'm saying definitely ain't gonna start with me um i'm annoying but not that annoying so yeah so it was just super encouraging and that just caused like just this crazy dummy motivation um and i've been going hard all week uh literally it has been a crazy week and it has been hectic um but I look back on it as it is Friday night right now, and I'm like, dang, I've been mad productive. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of tears shed this week <laughs> as I was, like, um, yeah, as I was, like, working through some things. But so I just, you know, started crying out to God, like, bro, like, help me out, man. I don't know what the freak is going on here. But, like, you know, more spiritual. And so then... Um, just things started getting better as of yesterday. Like, things just started getting better. My headspace was more clear. I went to work out, finally. Um, and, yeah, I just started to feel better. Because, like, the whole time I was all nervous all week. And, like, had this pain in my chest. Like, I was like, I just feel like I need to run. Like, and get all these extra emotions out. Like, I just need to get all this out and all these nerves out. I just need to go run. So, I did that. Stuff got better. Pray. Just been, you know, in constant communication with God. And stuff just started getting better. Just started having joy. Making fun of things. Talking to people nice on the phone. Y'all know how I feel about my job. And you know how hard it be. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know why I feel like they can hear me. But y'all know how I feel. <laughs> but I was being nice to people. Laughing. Joking. Hey, girl. How you doing? Girl, how your day going? You know, all that. And it was just a good last two days of the week and so I realized that once I finally talked to who I was supposed to talk to the Lord everything turned around but I came to this reminder that oh duh if God's not in the center of everything that's on your plate the meal's gonna be pretty gross you might as well throw it out because it's gonna be a mess so yeah it was a great reminder that you know if God ain't the center and you're not putting him first then Stuff can get messed up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it's gonna get, be a guarantee that it can get messed up. But for me, he's my everything. 
he's my everything. So I got a lot of stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? So like, I gotta, yeah, I gotta keep him first so that um, he can do what he needs to do in my life because I definitely can't do it all by myself, which I very clearly saw this past week. Yeah, he reestablished my faith in him and just my trust in him and just a reminder that, um, yeah, it can seem a little weird and uncomfortable and nerve-wracking at times, but all he asked for was my yes, and he'll do the rest, so. I don't, I don't feel it. Honestly, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> just out here believing God. Just out here trusting him. Just, just out here. And he said, all I need you, to, that's all, that's it. I just needed you to believe. Yeah, man. Now for the scripture of the day. Scripture of the day. All right. This is going to be found out if you want to get out your word. <clears throat> it's going to be found in uh, Philippians 1, 6. Y'all thought I was about to say Philippians 4, 13. But I didn't. So Philippians 1, 6. What did it read? <clears throat> be confident of... T Already. Anyways, let me stop. Be confident in this. That he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. What else do you need to... Uh, what else... Uh, help. I ain't even about to say nothing about it. I ain't even about to say nothing. There go your answer. So, maybe I'm speaking to myself. So, <laughs> but, you ain't confident in you. Be confident in that. Hmm. So, yes. Yeah. So, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I am working right now on a diagnostic test or my first practice test. And I will have that video to you super soon. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. And, uh, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. And this is your Ordinary Jace signing off. Have a wonderful, blessed weekend.